Hey guys, it's Taya and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something that I personally love and that is essential oils. Now, for me, essential oils have such a big effect on my mood and the way that I feel, so I wanted to talk about them and see if you guys are interested in them and talk about what they can do for your body and mind. So firstly, let's talk about what an essential oil is because there are obviously some people who might not know what they are. So, to put it simply, an essential oil is a compound extracted from plants, like lavender is extracted from the lavender plant and mint is extracted from the mint plant, etc. And each essential oil has an essence, and the essence is a word to describe the oil's scent and flavor. Many people believe that the oil's essence can have an effect on the human mind and body. In the human brain, there is a partial overlap between the parts of the brain that deal with scent and the part that deals with our emotions. So this is kind of what plays into the fact that scents can bring certain emotions to our body. So with that being said, I'm going to talk about my small collection of essential oils and the effects that these oils and other ones can have on the mind and body. So first I wanted to talk about the essential oil of orange. Um, sorry, I'm going to be looking off of my computer because I want to get all of these facts right. So the essential oil of orange can help soothe tense muscles, which I really need right now, oh my gosh. It can help with digestion, it can nourish a dry, irritated, and acne prone skin. It can promote feelings of happiness and helps to increase the absorption of vitamin C, which is kind of an obvious if you are um, dealing with the orange. Vitamin C is such an important thing that we need in our bodies. It can help assist in the detoxification processes of the body, which combined equal a stronger immune system, which is so cool. And because of the mood boosting components, it can aid with sadness. Very random, but orange is one of my favorite flavors of all time, so whenever I put it in my diffuser, oh, it just smells so good. So next, let's talk about peppermint, and I do also have regular mint, but whenever I looked up the effects of mint, it was the exact same as peppermint, so I'm just kind of combining those in two. And honestly, I prefer the smell of pe peppermint over mint, but they both smell super good. Peppermint is often heard of as a Christmas treat or a flavor of gum, but surprisingly, it has so many other benefits of the human body. The oil is well known to have the effects of keeping you awake, which, oh my gosh, I really need that. <laughs> this oil can also reduce the effects of headaches, digestive, digestive issues <laughs> and hair loss problems. Strangely enough, this plant is actually a cross between the watermint and the spearmint plant and comes in the forms of teas, oils, and tablets. Next, we're gonna be moving on to one of my all-time favorite scents and I feel like this is a very popular one. It is definitely in the most popular list when I looked it up, but that is lavender. So lavender all in all helps you stay relaxed, calm, and is a very good way to help you sleep. So let's read some facts about lavender. This purple flower is native to the Mediterranean and has an amazing scent as well as great effects on the human body. It can greatly reduce effects of menstrual cramps, anxiety, hair loss, and headaches. Now if that doesn't sound great, I don't know what will. This oil is also used a lot in meditation and yoga practices. I remember when I went to a yoga studio, that oil was always spraying in the air and I loved it. Next, I'm going to be talking about three different oils that I don't own myself, but I hear that they have great effects. So the first one is chamomile or chamomile oil, however you pronounce it. You often hear the word chamomile and immediately associate it with the tea you drink before bed. But the oil itself actually has great benefits on the mind and body as well. Chamomile is one of the most ancient medicinal herbs found on the globe. It can be used to help the effects of hay fever or the common cold, muscle pain, insomnia, skin care, and much more. This plant is originated in Rome and Germany and has been used for centuries for medicinal use. 
this powerful herb comes in the forms of teas, oils, or tablets. So all in all, this is a great oil or tea for relaxation, and I actually drink this tea before bed too, and I find that it really helps with calming my body down, especially after a stressful work day. So next I want to talk about the essential oil of lemon. Lemon essential oil is a natural detoxifier and contains antiseptic properties that aid in clearing up pimples and acne from the face. Diffusing lemon essential oil can purify the air and cleanse the respiratory system by clearing the nasal passages and opening the sinuses to fresh air. So if you have clogged sinuses, lemon is a great way to fix that. If you are stressed, anxious, or tired, you can use lemon essential oil to energize the mind and create a more positive environment. That sounds absolutely amazing and I'll definitely have to invest in finding some lemon essential oil. So next I want to talk about rose. Now when I was doing research I found one bottle of rose essential oil that was so expensive and I don't know if that means that every rose essential oil is expensive so just be careful about the price of this one. So rose oil is created by extracting the petals of various different kinds of roses. When absorbed into the skin this essential oil can help hydrate dry skin, clear acne, reduce signs of aging, decrease the appearance of scars, and help reduce inflammation of skin. Because of the appealing scent of this oil, it can be an instant stress reliever. It helps calm the mind and promote feelings of peace and tranquility. This oil in particular can really help with menstrual cramps, so I found kind of a recipe for this. So for a soothing way to ease the pain of menstrual cramps, add a drop of rose to a carrier oil, which a carrier oil is kind of a base. So it would be either like avocado oil, coconut, or olive oil and gently heat the mixture. Then massage this warm oil onto the lower abdomen to release the pain of menstrual cramps. So if you guys enjoyed this video and would like me to talk more about um, natural medicine, make sure to give me a thumbs up and I will be sure to do that. I hope you are all having a wonderful day and I will see you all very, very soon.